but you really don't need to stay up to date with the latest stuff that's happening in web development or programming. In web development and programming, things move incredibly fast, and there are new concepts and languages and frameworks coming out every single day, it seems like. And it may overwhelm you thinking of all these different things that you've never even heard of, have never worked on, and they're just coming out all over the place, and everyone's talking about them all over the place, and you feel like you're the only one that's never used it and doesn't know anything about it. But that's just not true. It is my full-time job to keep up to date with these different technologies and teach them to you, and even I fail to keep up with all the stuff that's coming out. So as someone that's not doing this for your full-time job, it is perfectly okay not to stay up to date with everything. I would recommend choosing a few small subsets of things that you really care about. If you're a CSS developer, focus on the new CSS stuff. If you're a React developer, focus on the new React stuff that's coming out. But even then, you don't need to stay up to date with everything that's coming out inside of your specialties. Just try to stay mostly up to date with those things. Even if you're just hearing about them and not actually learning about them, that's okay. Just generally hear about what's going on, but don't think that you need to learn all these things that are coming out. Sure, you can learn the ones that interest you and that are within your focuses, but don't worry about not knowing certain things. If you look for a job, for example, you'll see there's still tons of jobs asking for jQuery, PHP, and so on, other languages that have been around forever that have not been taught or anything for so long, but there's still jobs for these particular languages because large-scale companies have code that is older that they need people to work on. So most companies aren't hiring you for the latest and greatest CSS, React, Next.js features. They're hiring you for the stuff that's been around for five, 10 years because that's what their entire company was built on. Now, I'm obviously not saying to completely ignore all the new stuff that's coming out. The newest stuff that's coming out is honestly really exciting to learn about, at least for me, because it allows me to do more stuff with web development, which is really exciting. And it also will help you with certain jobs that you're working on. When you're working on projects, you can employ these new techniques into those projects to help make the code even better. But don't feel like you're not going to be able to get hired or that you're falling behind just because you don't learn every single new JavaScript framework that comes out. It's not important, especially if you're just focusing on one or two specific specialties.